We start tonight with that fatal crash that happened last night between a school bus and a car on I-90 in Faribault County. State troopers say the driver of that car died. Multiple teens on the bus were injured. The bus was carrying a volleyball team from Wasika Public Schools. The district said that none were seriously hurt, but a scary night nonetheless for parents of those student athletes. Heidi Wigdahl spoke with some of them about what happened. Not, not really a phone call you want to get. Wasika High School volleyball players were headed home from their first competition of the season when their school bus crashed. The Minnesota State Patrol says it happened around 845 Saturday night in Foster Township, about 20 miles west of Albert Lee. A Ford Mustang headed westbound collided with the school bus traveling eastbound. Just very chaotic and lots of tears and from the girls as well as from parents and very scary. Michelle Mummy says her 14 year old daughter Emily is unsure of what happened. She was sitting in the second row on the right side and she said she was just looking at her phone and she said all of a sudden everything went black and I woke up and everybody was screaming. And About 30 girls were on the bus from all three teams. At least seven girls went to the hospital for minor injuries, along with the bus driver and a coach. Emily has neck and chest pain and a possible concussion. Yeah, my heart was in my throat and... Um, yeah, it was just scary. The 55 year old driver of the Mustang, Mark Tigner of Brandon, South Dakota, died from his injuries. State Patrol is investigating the cause of the crash. Wasika Public Schools Superintendent Eric Hudspeth told CARE 11 they're following up with students and families to support them through this event. He said, quote, We are fortunate that none of our staff and students were seriously hurt and are heartbroken this happened. A number of girls last night, and my kid included, say, I don't want to get on another bus. I think the emotional stuff is it's going to last a while. It's unclear how many players may be out for upcoming matches because of their injuries. As far as support, parents tell me the team will be meeting here Monday to be together. In Wasika, I'm Heidi Wigdahl, Carol 11 News.